Lake Erie has a toxic problem that could have a huge impact on tourism if something is not done soon. Good evening. I'm Laura Emerson. And I'm Sean Hagerty. A record-sized algae bloom has spread across the western basin of the lake. Here's Fox Toledo's Kevin Milliken to tell us if there are any solutions in sight. There's a poisonous problem washing up on the western end of Lake Erie. It's nasty and it's not healthy for people to, to be around. This satellite photo taken last week shows a green toxic algae bloom that stretches 30 miles from Toledo to Kelly's Island. When you see green in the water and it's thick and it looks ugly, it's probably not good for you. Also known as cyanobacteria, the algae grows thick in water polluted with phosphorus from fertilizer, manure, and sewage that washes into the lake from heavy rains. The toxic algae can make people sick, kill pets, and Lake Erie already has a large oxygen-deprived dead zone where fish cannot survive. The algae is bad, the threat to the lake and to the fish and drinking water. The fear out here is relatively basic. If the dead zone in Lake Erie gets big enough, it could present a huge threat to the $10 billion fishing, boating, and tourism industry. They're the most biologically productive waters, some of them in the world. We have over half the fish in all the Great Lakes that are consumable here in Lake Erie, and most of those here in the Western Basin. So this is an incredible resource for fishing, recreation, boating. Two state research panels, one at the EPA, the other at the Department of Agriculture, will study the problem and offer solutions. But a coalition of environmental groups claim researchers already know where the biggest problems are and want a quick cleanup. I think we need to target where the areas are that have the greatest phosphorus quantities coming into the lake. But it's not just about the beaches at Maumee Bay and elsewhere. Toledo draws its drinking water from Lake Erie, supplying much of northwest Ohio. Some claim that should be motivation to move quickly on that cleanup. We have a crisis here. Kevin Milliken, Fox Toledo News.